Greetings, folks, and welcome to a game called, drumroll please, Rust. You've probably noticed that by now because it's so pretty. Uh, if you don't know what Rust is, Rust is a really cool survival game, and I'll be completely honest, the only reason I'm really playing this right now is because a lot of the YouTubers I watch have started playing this, and it looked like a ton of fun. So, the whole point of this video actually is to ask you guys if you would like to see me play out a game of Rust uh, on a new server. As you can see in this server, I've kind of got a few toys. I got lucky, actually. I'm really not that far along. I may continue from this point if we so choose to decide to go down that road, or I could start on a, a completely different server from the ground up, and uh, we can kind of do a progress thing as we go. So I'll leave that up to you guys, if at all. You know, maybe you guys would prefer me playing another game. If that's the case, write in comments which one you would be interested in watching me do. And I will consider it. No guarantees on anything, but I will consider it. So, anyway, another thing I want to talk about is... Uh, it, I really... I, I hate doing this, but I'm going to do it anyway. The, the uh, Rust servers. Um, first off, normally this game seems really cool. I've only gotten minimal playtime out of it. Uh, it's actually really great. I mean, there's a lot of grinding. You, you pound rock against tree, and, you know, you get stuff out of it. Hey, look, I'm getting wood. Yay me. Um, but the reason I haven't played much of this game is because there have been a flurry of, let's see, distributed denial of service attacks, or DDoS attacks, as they're called. And I highly doubt the guy who is actually doing them, or the small organization who is carrying those out, or watching my videos. But if they are, shame on you! This this is just not a good thing to do. I mean, why would you do that? Why would you get a whole bunch of different servers, like hundreds if not thousands of servers, to work against a single game with the sole intent of ruining people's day? I mean, it seems like there's far better resources for those computers to be crunching on. It just That seems like a poor idea. Whoever's doing it is a complete and total imbecile. I mean, seriously? So, anyways, there's my rant there. Uh, if, if you are watching my video, you, knew, you know who you are. You're a terrible, horrible, horrible person. And uh, I hope you get arrested, and I hope you go to jail for a very, very long time and never get to touch a computer again. That's honestly how I feel. I mean, that may seem so crazy for you know somebody who's taken out a computer game. But, I mean, he's, he's really... He's targeting a large community base here, and for no other reason than to just get his giggles. And I just don't think that's right. So anyway, uh, that's out of the way. Uh, I will showcase a little bit of how Rust works, or at least I would. I thought I had more, no, speaking of wood, I thought I had more wood than that. So let's see what we got here. Open door. I don't think I have anything interesting in there. Apparently I don't have, oh, there we are. Ha ha, I found it. Okay, what do we have? Sulfur and stones. Okay, great. What I'm going to do, because I never got around to doing it, is uh, I'll show you guys how to craft. But I'm going to craft a stone hatchet, which is actually one of the simpler things to craft. All you really do is go to the crafting thing, has a list of everything you want, and then uh, you just select what you want, make sure you have the necessary resources for it, and click craft. And there we go. And for those of you who play this game, you may notice in the bottom right corner that I'm very hungry and that I have six... No, I'm sorry. Three chicken to eat. I will eat those. Don't worry. So basically crafting takes forever, but you don't have to sit around. You can kind of walk around, but you're really, really slow. And there we go. Now I have a hatchet. So I can essentially replace my rock that I have with it. And the advantage is that the hatchet swings a lot faster. Yar. So that's a pretty cool thing. And uh, yeah, this game's pretty much survivalistic. It's post-apocalyptic. Uh, you start out basically in the Stone Age, and you have to gather resources, and there's actually guns and all sorts of stuff in the game, and it's a lot like DayZ. If you've ever played DayZ, it's a lot like that. I actually did not like DayZ, however, I do like this game. And I, again, I would highly, highly recommend this game to a lot of people if it wasn't for the DDoS attacks. So, uh, if you are interested in this game, I would say save your money. Uh, the creator of this game is also... Uh, the creator of Gary's Mod, Gary Newman, I think his name is. So we're basically waiting for Gary Newman and his team to sort out the DDoS attacks. Once that's resolved, uh, yeah, pick this game up. Give it a shot. It's it's pretty fun. Do keep in mind that players are very aggressive towards other players, so if you like a more casual game where people aren't trying to kill you all the time, you may not find this game app or, uh, palatable for your gameplay styles. 
So it's really up to you. Um, and again, I, I would like to do more playthroughs on it. So if you guys are interested, I will showcase the game. I've also opened up a Twitch account, and I am kind of curious about what game I want to play on that. And this seems like a pretty good game for a Twitch account. So it might be a little boring. Yes, I am watching a zombie in the distance. Look at him run ever so slowly. Okay, well, I think I'm going to hack to death this rock because it looked at me funny. And probably close the video up after that, but I am kind of curious to see what I can get out of it. Oh, right, chicken. Nom, nom, nom. Chicken tastes like Doritos. All right. And there's animals and stuff, too, that you hunt, and you can get food from them. That's where the chicken comes from. Oh, there we go. Stone, metal ore. A lot of fun stuff there. So, all right. Again, let me know what you, what you want, and we'll see what happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video thus far, and hopefully there will be future videos. I'll see you in the next one. Have fun. It's getting really dark. Time to build a house. Ooh. Okay, I'm getting a house. Where's the doorway? Let's place that down somewhere. Yes. Ah, ha 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 ha. The morning, it doth approach, and my hut is almost complete. Ah, it's more than a hut. Time to put the finishing touch on. Click. Yay! Metal door. I am safe for another day. It's actually turned out pretty nice. I'm happy. Now I just hope I don't get killed by basically everyone. See you in a bit.